Hi, we are live from London. We do the interview with Donald Mitchell. Hi, Donald. I would like to ask you, what were the sweetest memories from your time at uh, Ajax Amsterdam? Uh, the sweetest memories? Uh, I think I have a lot, but if I have to pick one of them or two, I can say especially my debut against Werder Bremen. Uh, I think I was 18 years old. Uh, that was definitely one of the sweetest things. Um, also, my goal against Benfica, I think, was with the Amsterdam tournament. Watch this. Watch this. Right, I think precisely one year after I get a big injury. And you were 2 0 down, and then you scored the 2 1, right? Yeah. That goal. Yeah, yeah, I think, uh, yeah. You also have like less positive moments from that time. Yes, my big injury, what I get uh, against Inter Milan, uh, 46 minutes. I think it was uh, somewhere in August. And uh, yeah, it was uh, that was a very bad moment, but uh, it makes you tougher. So. Do you have any regrets? Uh, no, you know I'm a person. I I try to give a, a positive uh, swing to everything. Uh, you know, I think you need to live life like, you know, on the fullest and yeah, you know, do anything and don't regret. But when you burst onto the scene in 2007, yeah. did you envisage yeah. something that hasn't quite happened afterwards? Maybe playing for Real Madrid or Barcelona like many young Ajax players do? No, no for me, the, 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 the main thing was more to, to, to be more of value of Ajax itself, because uh, especially when you are that young, they are that is the only thing that you think about and I was there and I showed uh, uh, that I could handle the level and like I said always you know you need uh, a little bit more luck you need a little bit maybe a little bit more support but it, 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 it goes how it needs to go and uh, but of course if I say that I wanted to play and be more valuable for, uh, for Ajax first team yes definitely you played with some incredible players, and I don't need to mention uh, them, but one or two of them, we all know them, yeah. Suarez, Fertongen. Oh, yes. yeah. Did you expect Suarez to become so great when you played with him? Because you think he was 20 when he joined from Groningen? Uh, yeah, I don't know how old he was, but you could see that he had some, some, some really, really great, you know, class. That I could say that he would this, become this big at Barcelona, maybe. But you could see that he would be very, very, he has some extra man. What is he like as a person? Is he like uh, the Chiellini like, person like a or the good family guy? I think he is a family guy, that's for sure. I always saw his family there. And, uh, but you know, you are young, so you are not really uh, hanging out with, the, with, the, with, yeah, with, with, with Suarez. I mean, uh, I think I was 18, 19. Mm. So, you know, I was more focused on, 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 on getting my, <laughs> my place in the 18 and everything. Yeah, so, yeah. And I have my friends from my day ones. So, yeah, after training, I'm always with them. But, uh, yeah, it was great to play with. Uh, he's one of the great players that I played with. And who are the I other ones? He gave me two assists. Yeah. <laughs> are you still in contact these days? With yes, Suarez? With, no, no, no. No. And apart from him, who are the other two big players you played with? Like, if well, in 10 days you have children and they ask you, who are, Daddy, who are the three best players you well, played with? Who are you going to respond? That's very hard because I play with Wesley Snyder, I play with Jaap Stam, I play with Davids, Vertonga, Vermale, all the world, Emanuelson, uh, Umor, Gabri, Oleger, Stekelenburg. Stekelenburg. Ryan Babel, uh, a lot, a lot. So it's very hard to, to choose, but yeah, we, Suarez, Snyder, Davids. Yeah. How do you see, see yourself in 10 years' time? In 10 years' time? Manager, sporting director, or you want to well, leave the football world forever? No, I will never leave the football world, never. I, I love the sport, the football too much and if it will be like a coach or a manager or an agent or I don't know what it will be I have a long way to go with my own career but I will definitely stick around with football and what are your plans for the future do you have like or you want to stay in Rotterdam, Belgrade or you want to maybe go back Holland or play in a different Look, the league the thing is I'm very satisfied here and uh, I need to be careful how I say this 
but it's good that it's uh, on the tape. I want to stay in Red Star. That's the thing what I want to get out of the system. But like I always said, I'm an ambitious player. I'm 28. Soon Still 29. a lot of time, five, six years. Yes. <laughs> of course, I'm an ambitious man. So if there is a very good opportunity for me, I'm consider it. If I want to go, yes or no. But at the moment, I'm not busy with any transfers or anything. Behind the scenes, people are talking, speaking. Don't believe anything that you read. Don't believe anything that you are hearing. Do you like journalists? Uh, I don't have a problem with journalists. The thing is, at the end of the day, everybody doing his job. I do mine, you do yours. So if you want to use the words that I used to, I like you. If not you, twist, if you the twist words. my words, it's okay, fine by you. If you feel better with it, I'm okay. I'm still the same person. I'm st in the same position. Nothing changed for me, you know. Does it affect you what you no, read? No, you know, I'm not young anymore. If you are young, you are a little bit vulnerable for those things. And I mean, I get the opportunity to speak with the camera again, even if it's not with you, it's somebody else. Yeah. So definitely I can say my words and I will say things what I need to say. Do you miss Amsterdam? Always. It's my hometown. 